Hi, I'm Becky Johnson with Sweetheart Quilt Design Company. Now, before we talked about what would we do, what do you do when someone says to you, do you really need another quilt? And we talked about that. But what if the person who's saying it is you? What if you're saying, do I really need another quilt? Oh, but it's so much fun. I have so many quilts already. Yeah, but I really like doing it. My family is already saturated with quilts. But I, it's so much fun. I want to do it. And we all need purpose in life. We all need to know that the world's a better place because we're in it. So, but I love to quilt. So I started thinking about, and we find purpose in a lot of different places, a lot of different ways. Our families, our children, our husband, our grandchildren, our extended family, our work, um, our church, volunteer work, singing in the choir, uh, volunteering at the hospital. So there's a lot of different places. But I love to quilt. <laughs> Quilts are me. So I started looking around. What can I do? I ran into this lady in the Walmart parking lot and she had six baby car seats in her shopping cart. And I said, what are you doing with all those? So she told me about the Pregnancy Resource Center here in town that works with women and couples. They do free pregnancy testing. They give parenting classes and the, the parents can earn things like quilts and diapers and other supplies that they need. So I donated quilts there, baby quilts and mom quilts. There's an organization in our town called Quilts for Kids and they do a Christmas party for kids in foster care. So I donated quilts there. Then my neighbor, who's a NICU nurse, started talking to me about in the NICU, they need quilts to go over their isolettes. Those babies are born early. They would have been inside their mom still in semi-darkness and so it's not good for them to be in the bright lights. So they like quilts to cover the isolettes. We talked about the size and came up with approximately 42 by 48. And 48 is long enough to go on the fronts and then 42 covers the sides. And I like the 42 inches because then you can use one width of fabric on the back. You don't have to piece it. It doesn't take any extra fabric to do that. So I started making quilts for the NICU. And these are small enough, you can quilt them on your sewing machine. I'm a long arm quilter, so I load mine on my long arm, but these are small enough that you can quilt them on your quilting machine without um, hurting your back and that kind of thing. So um, this is one that I made. This is just a smaller version of the free pattern that we did. We did, um, your four patches and your half square triangles, and then how to put together the this quilt pattern. So you can just take that free pattern and scraps. This quilt is made completely from scraps, leftover fabrics from when I made other quilts, the end of binding strips, all that kind of thing. And so you can just make it smaller. I made this one 10 by 12. So it came out around 40 inches wide, 40 and a half, by about 48. So that's a great one to do. Here's another one that, and this was also a free pattern where we did the flying geese. So it's just a smaller version of that free pattern that's on our website. You can make it completely from leftover fabrics or you can have fun and buy more fabrics. Here's a, I found this adorable raccoon fabric. It's got little oh, raccoons with, see, binoculars, sunglasses, and hats. And this is made with my Star Blast pattern with smaller borders, the baby version of it. So that's a great way to go. This one is, I found this safari fabric thought it'd be great for a boy. And I made this with my Rick Rack 2 pattern. This is a fat quarter pattern 
but I didn't want to use all fat quarters, so I took, this is number one, and at the bottom is number six, so I just bought a half yard of that. You can do things like that. And I just left the borders off, made it the perfect size. I'm teaching a class called Illusions. It's a block of the month class. And I'd already made the quilt sample. <clears throat> so I decided as I was teaching the class, I still needed to make the blocks to do demonstrations. So I've been taking the blocks two at a time. I pulled fabric from my stash and I had this cute crayon fabric and then these other bright pieces. And I sewed two blocks together because they're 24 inch blocks and then made these flying geese pieces to make it wide enough. So that's been a fun thing. My 12 blocks is making six little quilts. And I know you have adorable panels in your stash. So here's one, this was 32 inches wide and all I had to do was put a couple of borders on it. I did the um, decorative, uh, the binding with the accent that's in our binding video number five. Some of these, oh, I'll show you on the next one. Here's another panel quilt that's got small squares. This is a pattern of coming, coming soon. And I did the wrap from the back binding on this one. So I used the backing fabric. And then this is another pattern called crisscross stars that's on its way. The pattern will actually have, you can do stars in two colors, three colors, or four colors. And I'm making up quilts with cute little um, animals in the centers. And so anyway, we'll have a lot of fun with that. So it's a great size quilt to be able to make. It takes one width of fabric to do the back. You can quilt it on your sewing machine if you want to. So check with your local NICU and check around the other resources in town and see what you can do where you can still be having a whole lot of fun quilting and you can use your scraps, leftover fabrics. We all need to, we all have those and need to do that. Or you can have fun shopping at the local quilt shop and buy some new fabrics and they'll go to a good purpose. The quilts go home with the parents and the baby so it becomes a permanent part of their life. Anyway, have fun with that. Please like us and subscribe. Thank you.